first part of the new tutorial series on how to create a more advanced inventory. Now in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to create an item class and be able to use that item class in order to add these items to our inventory that we're going to be creating. Now um, these tutorials are going to be divided up into different parts. So part one, part two, part three, and so on and so forth. So you're going to have to follow the tutorial series since I'm going to be trying to um, go more in depth on specific mechanics of uh, these systems since these are going to be more advanced tutorials that I'm going to be covering. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. You're going to want to create a simple uh, JavaScript um, script and name it item. Now this item name needs to be the exact same of what your class name is going to be in order for it to be a class. So we'll just go and open it up and we can actually get rid of that. We'll just go function, or not function, because we're going to be creating classes. So we can name this class and then we'll want to name this item since this is going to be an item class. And in here, we are going to be creating the different variables that make up the actual item itself. So we need a variable for name, string, and we can think of some other stuff that we want to add to it. So we could also add a um, description that can also be a string. And we can add in some minor stats. So stamina, which we will make an int for now. And then we also want to add power into here. And then, let me think real quick, uh, we could add attack speed. and stuff like that. So these are just basic variables that we're going to be using to actually um, create our specific class. And I guess we could also add rarity in here. Which for this we're going to be creating a simple enum and we'll name it rarity like we did here. Actually, for classes, we do not need that. And now, if you haven't followed my Learn JavaScript tutorial, enums are pretty much just a drop down list that you can use for the specific thing so you don't have to keep typing it in. So, if you had a certain rarity, such as common, um, or let's do it this way uncommon, common rare, and we'll make this one epic. And so pretty much um, this enum will be plugged into here, and we'll be able to select from a drop down list of these items. Now another thing that we're going to want to do, save that real quick, and I also created a I don't know why it was set up like that. I'll just fix it real quick. And we'll jump down here. We're also going to create a variable for our, um, actually we'll call it items. And we'll derive this from the class item. And we also need to make this an array. And that's how we're going to have that set up. So pretty much for our inventory, we can create um, every item that's going to be in the game, and we can do it simply by doing that. So it'll derive itself from item, and we can add as many items as we want in here. So I don't know if I added any of this to the actual player itself yet. I don't believe I have. I'm going to check real quick to make sure that I didn't add it anywhere else. 
I don't think I did. Um, so we'll be adding our inventory script to here. And we're not going to have to add our item class to any object in the game. It can just derive itself straight from the item. So here are our items. Now let's say we want our game to have a total. We're just going to do something small. So if we had two items. And now you can see in here, everything is set up for our item. I'll just leave that one closed. So anything that we added in our item class for each of these um, is going to show up in our array because we're adding items, so all this list will be added to here, and we'll be able to create items for our game. So we can give it a name. Um, we'll just name this uh, sword. Description, we'll say, we'll just call it a sword. Stamina, maybe I want it to give my player five. Uh, power, 10. Attack speed, maybe it's set to 1.5. And we can make this, so this is where the enum comes into place. For our rarity, we can just do a simple drop down. Unlike a string where you have to type it in, we can have a simple setting for that. So pretty much how that works is if you were to add a constructor to the item class and it can detect what rarity the item is, or you can add it in somewhere else, maybe um, we'll set it up for the display. But depending on what rarity, we want to change the text of the hover over. So when we hover over an icon, maybe we want it to display as purple. Or if it's uncommon, uh, gray, common, white, etc., etc. So that's how we're going to be setting up our items. So you can add as many items as you want in here. Just simply change how much you want in the array. Give them each a different name. We might be adding IDs in here just to be able to keep track of them a lot easier. But for now, um, we're just going to be keeping track of them by the name. So that's a simple way how we're starting off our inventory system for the more advanced inventory. Um, keep watching the future parts, and we'll go into more detail on how to display our inventory on screen, how to add items to our inventory through a list and remove them, and do different things like that. So stay tuned for future tutorials, and I hope you guys enjoy the more advanced tutorial series.